board. Um, so thank you guys all for coming. Um, we're coming back this week and next week. We are doing our, um, going back to where I'm having um, leaders of our elective departments come in and explain um, about their departments and what we offer so that parents are familiar with the electives that we offer here at Piedmont Hills. When we come back from the Christmas break in January, we'll have the elective fair. Um, videos are going to be shown during announcements about all of our different electives. And so we're really going to be putting the full court press on the students about what um, we offer because at the end of January and February, that's when students are going to be meeting with their counselors and sign up for their classes for next year. But I know as a parent, um, a lot of times we think we don't have influence over our kids, but one thing that they do tend to listen to us sometimes, not always, but is about what classes they um, should be taking. And so you having an opinion and knowing what's out there and helping guide your child um, about what electives they should take is um important job that a parent can have to help us out as a school. So that's kind of the purpose of us doing that this week um, for these weeks. So today I have with me Diane Pereira. She is the head of our business department. Um, and she's got a great presentation for you. Um, and so like I said in my email, um, the business department is one of our CTE departments. Um, you met Mr. Dobrins with manufacturing and construction a couple of weeks weeks ago, which was our other CTE um, department. And so business is our other one. Um, okay, I'm going to turn it over to you, Diane. And parents also always, you can put questions in the chat. Um, you can take yourself off mute if you want to speak out loud, whatever you want to do. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, so as Ms. Davis uh, stated, my name is Diane Pereira and I'm in charge of the business department. I've been here at Piedmont, this is my 26th year, I think. Um, and our programs developed quite a lot, um, moving with the times, of course. I'm actually sitting in our business office right now. So behind me, I have our Roland large format printer. Um, we'll be talking a little bit more about how this comes into play in one of our classes. But the great thing about our program, well, there's lots of great things, but one of them is the hands-on experience that the students get. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions about our program is that it's the magnet classes. Um, it is true that magnet students do need to take our classes, but our classes are open to all students. So here's a little video about our classes. Business classes, they're for everyone. Take Intro to Business, where you learn all about business from finance to marketing and more. Interested in becoming an entrepreneur? This class is for you. Our graphic design, where you create amazing projects in Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign. We also offer web page design. Learn all about HTML and CSS and create eye-catching web pages. Or how about being part of a real business? Insane Inc. Check them out at insaneinc.com. You don't need to be a magnet student. Business has a place for everyone. Come find your place. Throughout this class, I've learned so many important things about business. However, this class is so much more than just a business class. I'm learning about my surroundings, the world that I live in, and what it takes to be successful in life. For me, Intro to Business has opened up a world of possibilities. I like graphic design because I can learn how to use the Adobe programs such as Illustrator and Photoshop and InDesign. And I think that it's going to really help me in my future career. And I want to pursue something art related and graphic design is something that's really universal and I can use it for almost everything. For web technology, we use um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to actually develop web pages. Economics of small business? What's that? It's really insane, Inc. Are you interested in marketing, accounting, finance, creative design? Do you want to be an entrepreneur and run your own business? Come be a part of our student-run business where you get hands-on experience. Create, design, and sell shirts just like these. You'll gain unique experience to add on to your resume. 
you do not need to be a magnet student. The class is open to all juniors and seniors. It's an experience unlike any other. Business classes, there for everyone. All right, so as the video stated, and as I also pointed out earlier, our students that are not magnet students can choose to take one, two, three, or all four of our classes. Um, magnet students do have to take all four in a certain order, but everybody else can pick and choose what might meet their interests. Uh, in our four classes, uh, every class receives CSU or UC credit. Uh, one of them earns F credit and the other three G credit. And our courses are also articulated with Mission College, which means if the student choose to, chooses to go through the application process, they can apply to be a Mission College student. And while they take our class, it says if they're taking this class at Mission College, and at the end of the school year, if they are in a B or higher, they have the potential to have that class on their Mission College transcripts, which is really great for students trying to get ahead on college credits and also for college applications. So if, a student is interested in the four pathways, we encourage introduction to business as the freshman class, followed by computer graphic design, followed by web page design, and then economics of small uh, business ownership where, where they actually run in St. Inc. Um, and this is the pathway that magnet students have to do. But non-magnet students could maybe like their junior year say, oh, I haven't taken my fine art. I wanna take computer graphic design. With no prereq, they can do that. Um, or maybe they don't take any of the classes and they're interested in Insane Inc. They can definitely apply for Insane Inc. in 12th grade. Now, the reason that I say apply is because that is one of our electives that we have limited space in just because the teaching is really specialized. Um, precedence is given to magnet students and to seniors, but if other students are interested, if there's space, we will definitely accept them. So as the video pointed out, introduction to business is uh, what you would imagine it would be. It's the same course taught at most universities where students are introduced to the world of business, um, and especially from the point of view of running a business as an entrepreneur, they learn how to develop business plans, and also uh, they develop their business finance and marketing skills, explore careers in the business world. Um, we also spend some time in there with basic stuff like keyboard proficiency and learning various software applications. Right now we're using Google, so Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Presentations, and this class earns G elective credit. Um, and then again, if the student chooses, they could also get the college credit for this class. A computer graphic design, you do have to be a sophomore, junior, or senior to take this class. Um, I teach this class, and honestly, if I was in high school, I would love this class. It's so much fun uh, watching what the students create in Adobe Illustrator and Design in Photoshop. Again, this class, they have the potential to also earn the college credit, and it's F credit, so it goes towards the fine arts. Um, and you learn about page layout, vector image, um, you create magazine covers, flyers, a whole bunch of digital artwork, and they even prepare a branding package. Okay, I'll let Ms. Davis um, address the question in the chat after the presentation. Absolutely. All right, and here's some sample work of um, what we offer um, in graphic design. So on the top left is a collage project that Jessica did. Top middle, our students were tasked with creating a logo for our on-site uh, wellness center that now has peer counseling. On the top right, that's our student, Aiko, who uh, picked a quote that was really important to her and uh, put it on her face. So you'll notice like the right side mimics the shape of her face on the left. On the bottom, we have Arav, and he did the torn paper look, where it looks like he tore out a piece of paper and his colorful face shows through. And then the last two images are manipulation, where students take things that are unrelated and put them together to make them look like they're real. So you have the diver coming out of the mouth over there on the center one, and to the right, the dog that is exploding out of that gaming system. So they have a lot of fun in this class. 
Web page design is taught by Ms. Kim King, and um, they learn HTML, CSS, Java. She covers, um, so ideally we would want students to take graphic design before web page just for them to really understand aesthetics, but you can take web page design without taking graphic design. Um, Ms. King does spend some time on basic design and layout principles to make website user friendly and effective. Um, she covers storyboarding. Um, she thinks in the graphic design principles, and this one earns G elective credit. And again, the potential for college credit. And then our capstone course, if you choose to take all four, would be economics of small business ownership, insane Inc. But this class, again, is open to everybody. It's just based on space availability. Um, so students study business planning, management, marketing. They develop sales presentation skills. Um, they We do the stock market game, entrepreneurship. Um, they have the opportunity to earn an entrepreneurship certificate. We do lots of like Shark Tank proposals. A G elective credit as well as Mission College credit. And if you have not visit in, visited insaneinc.com, here's a little bit about what our program does. Hi there. Have you ever wanted to create custom merchandise for your family, friends, or business? Well, come check out where we're doing Insane Inc. Insane Inc. is a zero in business that sells shirts, hats, hoodies, and crews, and so much more, all at a competitive price. You can have in-house designers that can help you create a graphic, or we can work with us to already have. We offer screen-printed items, a sign press, or uh, more commonly referred to as Myrinox. We also have direct garment printing, and we also offer embroidery in any design you choose, and posters, stickers, and more. We look forward to meeting your printing needs. We even provide personalized maps. In addition to having great merch, we also pay out our 50 50 promise. What's the 50 50 promise? It's where we use 50% of our profits to contribute back to our community. In addition, we participate in various walks and donated umbrellas and vinyl posters to our school. And we've even donated shirts to Walkathon fundraisers and so much more. We committed to bringing you the best merch possible. So visit insaneinc.com to get your merch today. At Insane Inc., we've been making sure it happens since 1998, and we can make sure it happens for you, too. Please consider supporting our student-run business and our 50-50 promise by visiting us at insaneinc.com. All right, so in relationship to the college credit that we offer, um, the student applies through California Community Colleges to get their um, CCCID. With that, they then complete a mission college application to get the mission college ID. So they'll have, no matter what community college you go to, you need the CCC ID. So it's probably gonna be part of your child's pathway if they are planning to um, take any courses at all at a community college. Then they apply through CAPMA. CAPMA is this middle ground where I'm actually the teacher and I assign the credit for the class at the end of the school year. Then students go on to Mission College after the end of the school year and they'll see that on their transcript at Mission College, they have credit for the class if they earn, earned a B or higher. So our, our introduction to business class is articulated with biz, uh, Mission College Business 51, which is Intro to American Business. Our graphic design class is articulated with Mission College Graphic Design 35, which is beginning graphic design. Our web page design class is articulated with Graphic Design 45, web page design that's at Mission College. And Insane Inc. Entrepreneurship is articulated with Business 54, small business startup. So technically, if you complete all four of our classes and you go through the process to earn the credit, you could have four community college classes under your belt by the time you graduate high school without having to give up the summer evenings or winter break. So a lot of people will ask, well, are these CSU or UC transferable? So as you can see from the table, all four classes are CSU transferable and one of them is UC transferable. With that being said, when students take community college courses during high school, it does add a lot of value to their college application. It demonstrates that they've been able to carry a load that, um, that they can handle a college class. 
Um, and kind of like you look at extracurricular, it could potentially give them content to discuss in college essays. Um, and there's really nothing to lose because they're taking the class here at Piedmont anyways. So why not do the application to get the college credit? Now, if your child was to take all four classes, this is a sample of what the schedule might look like. Where freshman year, they have their English, math, science, and PE. Um, and then um, the intro to business there is there with an additional elective. Um, and then sophomore year, English, math, science, PE, and world history, and graphic design is there. For the most part, a seventh period day is allowed for sophomores um, who are in the magnet program or who are committed to the four classes, but this is a case by case situation. Uh, junior year, uh, you'll notice web page is listed there with two additional courses and then senior year in St. Inc is listed there also with additional courses. And this is only if they wanted the four year pathway again. Uh, where it says electives in junior and senior year, students could take intro to business as a junior, graphic design and web page design all at the same time junior year if they're not a magnet student. All right, here is our contact information and um, any questions that anybody might have. Okay, so I'll address that question that was put in the chat and then parents, if you have other questions that have come up, please um, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, so the question that um, was asked, uh, freshmen had selected intro to business, but did not get um, the choices um, and then instead got drama as their elective choice. Um, so the question is, what is criteria for the selection process? Do you wanna select um, these electives sophomore year? So basically, um, because this business program, as Ms. Perra mentioned, is the magnet program. So kids that are accepted in the magnet, and what that means is they don't live in our attendance area, they live in attendance area outside of Piedmont Hills. And so they're accepted in the magnet and they're allowed to attend Piedmont Hills, but they have to take the magnet classes. Those kids get priority. There's about what, Diane, 30 a year is about what it is. So that's not all of that's not going to fill all of these classes because we offer more sections than that. Um, but just realize that those kids that that 30 kids um, when you're talking like is intro to business or any of these classes, they get the pri like top priority. After that, we look at um, level of um, grade level, you know, um, so freshmen are always the lowest priority because they have many more years to be able to take these classes. So, you know, if we have to limit classes, you know, it's seniors and juniors and sophomores. Um, so that's how it works um, typically. So in trying as a sophomore, now remember the sophomore year, as we've mentioned several times um, in the past, that's the tightest year for electives. Um, so just keep that in mind. There is room, but often um, sophomores will have to take a seven period day because they have all of their core classes. And if they're taking a world language, that additional elective forces them into a seven period day. We do allow them to take a seven period day, but just keep that in mind for the sophomore year. Um, but definitely, you know, junior and senior year, there's a lot of room in kids' schedules. Um, and, um, so um, that, um, uh, so there's a lot of room for kids to take that. So, and generally there's not a problem. I would say freshman is when, you know, freshman year is the year that kids may not get their elective. Um, that's usually not an issue later on. Um, a question that went direct to me that does not have to do with business, but asked if we offer AP psychology class in the sophomore year, no. AP psychology is for juniors and seniors. Um, okay, how many students are in the magnet program each year? Is it through a lottery? Diane, do you want to explain how that works? Sure. So um, historically, we get about 120 to 150 applications each year. And um, it's done completely through the district office. I have absolutely no involvement, engagement, or choice in how it works. And it is an actual lottery where they pick names, um, the only caveat is that they try to get an equal number of female and males, and they vary the schools they pull from. So we get about 30 to 35 slots a year, and they will not take 35 students from James Lick and put them all here. 
they will not take 35 students from Independence and put them all here. They spread it so that it's some from James Lake, some from Independence. Um, so there is the, um, normally there was trying to have an equitable um, uh, gender count and also not impacting just one school by taking a whole group of students out of it. I actually don't know if anything is changing for this year. Um, Mr. Tim Nguyen is the contact. Um, let me go ahead and type his name here in the chat if you wanted to contact him directly. Um, and he could answer specific questions and all the information about uh, the magnet I'm just making sure I'm spelling his name right here, um, is located on the district website. If you go to esuhsd.org and in the search engine, you put magnet, it takes you to the page. It has all the dates that are there and it details all of the programs that we have in our entire district. And, and then I wanted to address one more thing that Ms. Davis brought up is um, the sections. So we have uh, two and a half business teachers here at Piedmont Hills. Miss um, King teaches two periods of web, uh, web page design. So that's about 60 students or so. Um, and then Mr. Smith teaches four periods of intro to business. Um, so that's about 120 students. Uh, we have two sections of Insane Inc. Um, that's about 60 students. And then right now we have three sections of graphic design, which is about 90 students. So the way that electives work is the section numbers are really uh, based on supply and demand. Um, and so if we have enough demand to open up extra sections, um, that's how we would get extra um, more opportunity for students to take our courses. Um, but again, intro to business is four sections, graphic design, three sections, web page design two, and insane ink two right now. Thank you. Um, so a question that I'm gonna ask you, I've asked every um, presenter that we've had. Um, so can you explain one thing that parents always want to know about um, is what is like the homework load in these classes? and you know, maybe it varies from class to class, but how much are students expected to do at home? And do they need, you know, programs at home and, you know, technology and how does that all work? That's a great question and a huge selling point for our department. So we cannot assume that students have access to the software that we have in our classes. Um, Many of our classes are software driven, but supplemented with other materials. For that reason, it is rare to have homework in any of our classes. If students have homework in any of our classes, it's normally due to absences or not using class time wisely. Um, we also do have open labs for students who need extra time. Um, so uh, right now we have open labs every day at 8 a.m. and Wednesdays after school. Um, as you know, school now starts at 8.30. So we have that extra half hour in the morning if students need extra time. Um, for the rare homework that we do have, um, it's not more than a couple hours a week, if even that. Um, I can speak for Insane Inc. in graphic design. Graphic design has no homework unless students don't use class time. Um, wisely. With Insane Inc., um, it's not really homework, but students are actually running a business. So as you know, you have to spend time reaching out to customers, working on graphics, working on uh, quotes for customers. So I don't like to term it homework because ultimately Insane Inc. has payout at the end of the school year. So students earn a percentage of the money of the profit they earn on jobs comes back to them. So I consider it more as an opportunity to earn money and also enhance their resume. Um, but if you want to call it homework for Insane Inc., I'd still say no more than two hours a week. Um, but again, Insane Inc. outside of class is primarily trying to get new customers, sell shirts, sell posters, etc. Cool. Um, can you explain a little bit more um, how 
And again, this may vary from class to class, um, but how are these classes graded? Like, what are you looking for in terms of assigning grades to students? So unfortunately, I can't really speak for web and intro, um, although I do think that they're very similar to graphic design. Most of our um, assessments are project based. Um, we have lots of presentations. We, we rarely have, um, you know, fill in the blank or true false. We don't rarely we rarely have incidences where students are having to cram like that, you know, for their other classes. Um, it's all about are you able to produce what we've been teaching you to produce and we do continual projects that build on each other. Um, I think our classes are a great balance for um, some of the other classes on campus that do have high homework loads or are very technical information. Um, our, our classes, um, a lot of people think our classes are subjective. Our classes are not subjective. There are clear things we are assessing in web, intro to business, insane ink, and graphic design, but we use projects to teach them that. And so it's projects upon projects about upon projects. We're not really solving problems in our classes. Um, I don't know if that helps answer the question, Ms. Davis, um, but we always say turn in something because if you turn in something, you will definitely pass our class. Um, our students normally in all of our classes do really, really well unless they don't turn in work. Um, I know in the past you guys have gone on some really cool field trips. Do you want to talk a little bit about like some of those field trip opportunities? Sure. Um, we're still kind of recovering from COVID, so we haven't been doing a lot, um, but uh, we have have a local printer that screen prints and we like to try to take students there. Um, we actually just went to a field trip on Friday. Uh, we went to Mission College, which I know I've been mentioning a lot. I really do think Mission College is this little gem that a lot of people don't think about. Um, it is by, by Great America, so I think people think it's far, but then these same students will drive to De Anza, so that's what's confusing to me. Um, but Mission has a lot of online classes. As a matter of fact, I'm promoting a winter course right now. Um, it's a three-week course offered through um, Mission College, which actually meets a GE requirement for CSU, um, and I'm encouraging my students to take it. Um, so we went to Mission College, and um, we weren't there for our students really to pursue being full-time Mission College students, but instead to explore the opportunities there. So at Mission College, you could earn lots of certificates in um, graphic design and web page design, um, and also take classes while you're in high school. Um, so the visit was more to introduce students to the certificate program, and a, a Mission College teacher actually taught a lesson um, in multimedia to our students, which is great because our curriculum here at Piedmont doesn't cover multimedia. So they were kind of exposed to what classes would be like at Mission. So they were in a, a college campus, college computers. We work on PCs. They've got to experience working on Macs. Um, so a lot of the students really sent positive feedback about how they feel like college is more of a reality to them, um, that they're interested in maybe taking a couple classes there so that they can kind of prep themselves for college life. And then we have some students actually that are not college bound, which is great. They want to get straight into a career. Um, and after they take our graphic design class, um, they do have skills to become an intro. Um, be an introductory graphic designer. Um, so we try to take them on field trips where they get experience um, meeting entrepreneurs, being um, exposed to different college and certificate programs. Um, so I don't, right now we don't have any on the calendar. We just finished the one Friday, but we're looking for our, a place to go in the spring. Um, but I have to tell you guys something that's so funny. When I was a high school student, and even when I started teaching here at Piedmont, if I had a field trip and I told them I only had 50 seats and I passed out the permission slips, everybody would have them to be the next day to me the next day. And I've had I would have a huge waiting list. It's really interesting to me that our students don't want to miss school very often. So field trips to even though I offer these opportunities, 
most of our students don't want to go on them. So I'm also trying to think of how to do some virtual field trips so that they get the same experience without having to miss school. Um, so I'm working on that, especially with the Mission College one, because out of our program, we took 35 students. And I think a lot of our students could benefit from the information there. So I'm thinking of doing some virtual ones, like in the evening, uh, where I could bring in guest speakers and such, kind of a different angle on how we do field trips. Cool. Um, and like, cause I know in the past you've gone to like LinkedIn and like things like that, like before pre-pandemic long ago. <laughs> right. Yes. Pre-pandemic. And then during pandemic, what they would do is they would assign LinkedIn um, individuals to one-on-one -on -one mentor our students. So we do a unit in personal branding in Insane Inc where students have an awesome resume and a very professional LinkedIn profile. And then the LinkedIn contacts, we would use, we used to go to LinkedIn and they would work one-on-one -on -one with our students. Um, they have not offered that to us since. I'm hoping that maybe they're open to that in the spring, um, but we have had in, uh, LinkedIn consultants zoom in with our students and give them tips and tricks on how to improve their LinkedIn profile. Um, so we still definitely have that connection and hopefully maybe get to go back to their site again. Um, other questions that parents may have. Um, and I know you touched on it a little bit and like in the video for Insane Inc, but you know, if parents, if you guys need stuff made for- Oh Inc. yeah, let me go to our website and then let me go through that. Um, like you let have a family reunion coming up, that sort of thing, or- I know, let me do, I should have brought a student in to do a sales spiel for you guys. All right, so this is our website, insaneinc.com. Now the cool thing about this website is that it is fully maintained by students. Honestly, I know nothing about web page design. That is Kim King's um, little arena. And I am so lucky because she does such a great job in teaching that when they come to Insane Inc, they manage the whole page by themselves. Um, so Treasure Trove is our pirate gear store. This is currently what we have in stock. We're open. Um, we're actually open Wednesdays, so they do need to update this. Um, but we're open Wednesdays. Um, and our students decide what is sold here, how much they sell it for. Um, and we're hoping to do an evening sale so that parents have the opportunity to come buy stuff, maybe Christmas gifts. Um, and then if you have a large order, like uh, you want 30 sweatshirts or 50 t-shirts, this is the process that would be followed starting with our online catalog to then contacting us about what you would like. Um, we have lots of people that just want something small and quick. We have an in-house printer. Um, and so we are able to print right here. Um, if you want one shirt, one side, uh, maybe it's your child's uh, senior year and it's their last sporting event, for instance, senior night for basketball. Uh, you can come and print a shirt with their face on it if you'd like. You just send us the graphic and we print it for you. Or maybe you want your whole family to come that night and you have 10 people and you want your child's face plastered on it. If you order three or, or more shirts, they are, they're only $12 each. Um, so that's our direct to garment printer. Um, and then we also have this large format printer that's behind me that prints stickers, posters, and flyers available. Um, and then we have our portfolio section here that lists some of the graphics we've created and um, offered and these are poster shirts and stickers it varies depending on what the customer wanted and then one thing we're really proud about is that 50 percent of the profit that we make um, goes back to the community and then our last page is um, my internet is going super slow so here's how we give back to the community and then the contact us page has all of our there it goes these are our officers this year. If people wanted to contact our CEOs directly, our CFO, or any of our other leaders. And there's Devin who has been maintaining this page and doing a great job. Um, so yeah, thank you for letting me plug Insane Inc. in real quick. No, I think honestly, it, this is like one of the hidden gems of Piedmont Hills. And every time I talk to you and I see what the kids can do, I think it's so cool. And a lot of people like don't know about it. Um, 
So yeah, definitely parents take advantage of that. Um, so Insane Inc. is a one-year class. It's, um, typically, if you're in the magnet program, it's the capstone class, it's the senior year class, but we let, if anybody wants to take it, we do let juniors and seniors into it. And so if a kid took it as a junior, can they take it again as a senior or no? Actually, we love that. Um, our two CEOs are returning students. So yes, in rare occasions, we do um, allow that. Um, the issue we have is our class is in really high demand and we give precedence to seniors. Um, so we normally maybe get one or two, maybe three juniors in there. Um, but when we do that, more likely than not, those juniors become leaders their senior year. But yes, we do allow a student to take the class twice. Cool. Um, yeah, and it's really, it's cool. And then they do get, what do you call it, the buyout at the end? Oh, payout, yeah. So they can earn up to $599. And uh, depending on how they do, it is not rare for students to leave the end of the school year with $599. Um, and that's based on the business that they bring to Insane Inc. So as I mentioned, we have a 50-50 policy. So when a student does a job, the profit comes in. Um, of that, 50% of that profit goes back to our community, whether we are doing umbrellas for the school or vinyl posters for the school, or we even uh, have been hosting events to build school spirit. So we did volleyball last year, which was a student versus teacher volleyball tournament. It was super fun. Um, so that's where kind of 50% of the profit goes. The other 50% is obviously to maintain the business. And then a part of that goes directly to the student in the form of the payout. Um, and payout is based on everything they sell, whether it's, um, 50 sweatshirts, posters, stickers, et cetera. And it's really up to the student and how much their payout is because it's based on how much they sell. Um, and um, we give all of our students leads. We have over a hundred clubs on campus. We divided it up amongst the teams and said, hey, you know everything about Insane Inc. Go reach out to this advisor, club prince, uh, president, try to sell them jackets, sweatshirts, t-shirts. Um, so every student has the opportunity to um, earn payout through profit on jobs that they lead. Um, so question, can you say it again, which class earns the G credit and then the F credit? And what does Insane Inc. earn? Um, the only one that earns the fine art credit is graphic design. The F credit. So. Yeah, so that's because it's artsy, right? Um, and then the G is the other three, uh, Intro to Business, um, Web, and Insane Inc. I, we call it Insane Inc. here because that's how we know it as, but it's actually called Economics of Small Business Ownership. That's the fancy name for it. Yeah. Cool. Um, other questions that parents may have? So I think that, you know, um, this can, be, you know, so you know, when Mr. Dobrens came, like these are CTE classes and you can see like, obviously how, I'm sure you guys can see how this is preparing students for a career um, and giving them a lot, lot of hands-on experience. So if you have a child that is thinking that like, oh, they want to, which honestly business is a very popular major. A lot of people go into business. This is just giving them some really practical hands-on knowledge um, while they're still in high school. But I think even if they don't go on to college, like just and go straight into career, like Ms. Pereira had mentioned, like this could give them some real practical skills. So I think it's a um, really, really amazing program that we have here at Piedmont Hills. Okay, well, if we don't have any other questions, I will let you guys go early today. Um, so next week we um, are having Mr. Will Brown. Um, he's actually gonna be talking about several different classes. Um, he's gonna like originally when I invited him, it was to talk about the journalism program because um, he is the journalism teacher, but we are offering a new um, AP elective um, for next year. So those of you that are interested in learning about AP classes, we're gonna offer AP seminar. Um, so he's going to be talking about what AP seminar is. And he also teaches AP Lit. So if you have questions about that, you can answer those questions too. That's not an elective class, but um, 
<laughs> he's an expert in it. Um, so for freshmen, the only classes that they can take is intro to business. Yes, Diane, that's correct. Yeah, so that's the freshman class. So, okay. Well, thank you guys very much. Um, and thank you for saying this was informative. That was the intention. So hopefully you learned a lot. Um, so thank you. And hopefully you'll come next week and um, visit and learn um, about journalism and um, AP seminar. So I'm excited about next week. But thank you guys so much. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Let me exit this real quick. Where am I at? Where are you at? There you are. <laughs>